So, our whole neighborhood is in a current blackout. Apparently something happened at the local elementary school and caused our local transformer to blow, something along those lines. Didn't want to bother the firefighters. They were in a little bit of a bind at the moment. So, I figured, what's the point of having an electric car if you can't use the electric when the power is out? And as such, first you're probably curious how I have light to begin with. I had this nifty little product from Duracell. It's got a lithium-ion battery in it, as well as, uh, let me get you some specs. This thing's great. Relatively cheap, under 50 bucks. It's got a, uh, what are we at? 4 amp hour lithium ion battery. It's got two USB ports, as well as a 60 watt 110 outlet, or 80 watt if you have it plugged into your car at the same time. I'm currently running one of my LED shop lights off of this battery on the 110. In the house we are running some lights off of our home entertainment systems uh, UPS battery backup. So anyways I have over 1200 amp hours of battery capacity in my electric Alfa Romeo which we build. You can visit us at kmanscooters.com the letter K-M-A-N scooters.com and we are the home of Wisconsin's first 100% electric DOT licensed street legal car, electric cars. So, shameless plug of the day. And I am going to be hooking up a 2000 watt power inverter to my electric car. Now, I doubt this power outage is going to last a long time. If it did, I'd say screw it. I'd pull all the batteries out of my car, line them up in a series, and, uh, excuse me, in parallel, and just run the straight, the inverter off all of these. Or I could just use one of my generators, but that costs more money. Uh, so instead, um, since I'm not too concerned about that, I am just going to clamp on our inverter here, straight onto one of the batteries. And now uh, this car isn't, isn't quite finished yet, it's still a work in progress still tinkering around with it so please easy with the uh, with the hate comments and whatnot as this is a personal vehicle I get to experiment a little bit with my own personal stuff over a customer vehicle so there we are grab my backup extension cord here now obviously I would not hook it up to the full 130-something volts that this car puts out at a full at full power. Got to unwind my extension cord here. Now, normally I wouldn't care, but I got tons of scooter parts to package and ship out, and I can't do that without juice in the car. So, unwinding the extension cord, give myself a wee bit extra as I might go plug in the freezer and the refrigerator for a little while. As I said, this is a 2000 watt inverter. So we got lots of juice here. I'd prefer to use my 600 watt, but that's still at my shop. There we go. Juice is on. Plug her in. wander back into the garage here. Also a huge mess. But let's start plugging stuff in. I think I might do that light up there. A power strip would be handy right now. And you know what? I think I'm going to shut this little bugger off. Actually, save some of that juice. Power strip, power strip. Okay, I think we can salvage my power strip for charging all my cordless drill batteries here. So we got that. 
that. Uh, computers over there, freezer, miscellaneous power outage snack candies. Gotta have your red fishies. Mm. Now this one should do the computer, printers, and uh, other miscellaneous goodies. Faulty RAM modules and a miscellaneous spoon for my boys throughout the driveway. So now this is actually the first time I've used this inverter. I've had it a long time, but I've never needed 2,000 watts as I do have a 1,200 watt. Uh, gas generator sitting there, and the 24, uh, too dark to see, Let's skip that, we got 2400 watt generator sitting over there, so let's go, flip on light number one, oh, there we go, some miscellaneous scooter parts, mmm, tasty, so that's one, Shut off some stuff we don't need. Shut those items off now. Fire up the computer. Oops, screen on. Hopefully we haven't caused too many issues with that out. Uh, I need some more light. So what shall I do? I should have a uh, yeah. I think I'll use that. Plug it back in later. Find another extension cord. Battery chargers. Hmm. Looks like the wife ransacked my extension cords again. Got plenty of wire, just not gonna make my own. Oops, I hit F1, skip scan. Alright, looks like I'll have to skip that light. Unless I just want to plug it into my inverter. The little one here. Get some power. Oh, there we go. That's a bigger bulb, so that one's going to take a little while to warm up. So let's take a quick peek from the street again. At least it's not 100 degrees out here like it was a few weeks ago. So, looks like once again, I am... The only one in the neighborhood. And by the way, the lights over there are actually reflecting from the iPhone's flash. I am the only one that has any kind of power. They got a little solar powered light down the street there. I can hear my son screaming in the house. Awesome. Inverter's chugging away. Nothing seems to be burning quite yet. Oh, desktop's up. Have no idea if we have internet access, but that's why we got cell phones. Plug her into the cell phone and uh, chug away using Sprint's ultra slow 3G network. I don't mind because they got the cheapest unlimited plan out. So, I'm not sure what else to tell you guys right now other than awesomeness. Once I do my packaging, I will probably run this extension cord inside. After switching to a different battery, 
I got enough. I got uh, eight in the trunk, three under the hood. So we got 11 batteries. We're supposed to keep nothing up. What was that? Well, I figure, what's the point of having an electric car if you can't just plug it back into the house? You can't plug the whole house in. Not quite yet. I'm working on that one. Looks like they have it down there. Yeah, it's only impacting about 700 people. Something happened at the elementary school. High, high view. Yeah, I drove over there. They got fire department there. So, oh. okay, so I hold think on. We are Anyways, uh, that's we are the end moving. of my video. We are moving.